Uh, in the UK, we have 29 million homes, and they're responsible for around a fifth of the UK's carbon dioxide emissions, the main gas responsible for causing climate change. Uh, so really important that we retrofit our homes to uh, reduce the environmental impact. And there's other reasons as, as well. For example, we've all seen the increases in energy wholesale prices recently. It's almost been a doubling in supply costs at, at the moment. So by improving the energy efficiency of our homes, we can help keep our running costs manageable uh, at a level hopefully that we, we're, we're more used to. And finally, another very good reason for retrofitting our homes is to improve our, our comfort in, in the home. We're spending a lot of time in our homes now. Uh, health and comfort is, is very important. It's important that we stay warm and well. Uh, probably the best way to, to start your journey with retrofitting a home is to have something uh, carried out called a whole house retrofit plan. This is like a, a blueprint that will tell you the most viable options to, uh, to, to fit and install in your home. Uh, the most important message though is to get the insulation right first, we call this fabric first, to cut out the, the losses, uh, the, the wastage. We don't want to be wasting heat, it's very expensive to heat, heat our homes. Uh, most homes will uh, probably, from their energy consumption each year, probably two thirds of that will go on space heating. So to start with insulating our walls, our roofs, our floors, and make sure we have good double or triple glazing installed is really important to do first of all. Once we've done that and we've got that right, then we can look at uh, new forms of heating, like uh, heat pumps, air source heat pumps or ground source heat pumps, which are a very efficient means of, of heating. Uh, our, our homes and we can also look at other measures perhaps like solar uh, renewables like solar PV to generate free and clean electricity on our, on our roofs.